um, in future uh, YouthWorks applications, we're able to get more young people involved in the year-round program. Fantastic. Vlad, mm -hmm. any other facets of the organization? You know, you've got two months under your belt now. You should be able to talk about so many great things going yeah. on over there. I just wanted to add a, another benefit, I think, in general, too. It, it really does build up the community. I mean, if these youth are getting jobs and they see they can find employment within Worcester, they're more likely to stay in Worcester versus, like, maybe trying to find employment outside of Worcester or going to school outside. They'll see more opportunity within the city that they live um, and feel more ownership and feel like they want to stay. So I think that is another big piece of this is, you know, trying to get them to understand that mm -hmm. the opportunity is right here and it, they don't have to go somewhere else. Well, that, you know, again, here we go. Uh, on, a, on a social level, having been born and raised in Worcester and, and working here, uh, yeah, you, we need that. We need that kind of, uh, to cultivate that kind of vested interest yeah, in our own city course. and saying, hey, you know what, I want to, I, not only do I want to work here, I want to invest here, I want to buy a home here, I want to raise my family here. That that starts now. You know, that starts with our youth. Um, so, yeah, I think that's that's a great intangible, if you will, but that's really a, a really big component of it all. Um, so if, if, you, if you had to, um, you know, send a message out there to our listeners, whether they be employers or youth, what, what would be your message today at the end of the day? Mm. Put you on the spot. Yeah, what is your pearls of you wisdom? You are putting me on the spot here. It's all um, right. <laughs> well. Do we have a timer? Just to see yeah, you know, seriously. To see the you. Jeopardy song? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess I would say just, you know, to keep your eyes out for opportunities and, you know, reach out to Worcester Community Action Council, even if you're a youth and, you know, we're, we don't have placements right this second, but you can reach out and find out more about us. And, you know, even if it's just a conversation about what opportunities might be out there, even if it's not through Worcester Community Action Council, we can probably connect you with someone else and just know that Worcester does have opportunities and we want to support you and that um, we want to see people succeed. And where are you guys located? Uh, downtown. We're in the Den Home Building right across from 7-Eleven, so not, not too hard to get to. There's a lot of buses down there. So. I believe that is what, 484 Main Street? It is, yes. Yeah. Oh, it is. Hey. Good, good that. job. Yeah, I pulled that out of my old UPS days. Uh, no, yeah. So you guys are located at 484 Main Street, and if a uh, youth is interested in contacting you about potential uh, job opportunities yeah, and or you idea. know some you know, understanding what other resources are available, they can certainly call or stop right on in. And employers are calling the same number? Everybody's calling yeah, the same number? Yeah, call the same number. So and their magic the digits are? 508-754-1176. There you go. Well, fantastic. Great job. Thank you for coming in and sharing all that Thanks information. And uh, again, our plea is to uh, those employers, private or public industries who are out there who, uh, you know, want to help our, our youth of, of tomorrow, certainly give us, uh, give uh, Worcester Community Action Council a call because uh, they'd love to talk to you about what opportunities that are out there in terms of hosting uh, or sponsoring some of our young adults who are looking for job experience. So, Lila, thank you very much. Stay cool out there. Yeah. Keep, you know, keep working and keep those kids uh, busy. So thank you very much for all you do. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you, Lila. Perfect. And, uh, you know, Ethan, I mean, that's going to that's gonna bode well for us moving forward because that gets our, uh, our youth theme rolling on it such a high note. Theme, so such yeah. a high note. Well, okay, so one thing I would say, piggyback off of YouthWorks. Sure. Lila mentioned it. We have this Job One initiative that we're establishing in the city of Worcester yep. with the support of the city manager's office and the chamber. And really what Job One is about is bringing all these youth providers and youth programs together under one umbrella. Um, well, some organizations may not have access to resources that other or youth-oriented organizations will have. Um, so Job One is a way to kind of bring everyone together under the roof, under one roof, and give it, a, uh, you know, all these uh, excuse me youth providers access to all informa all information, all resources. So it's something that's ongoing, something that's be developing. You'll be hearing from it soon. Oh, coming to a theater, coming near to a theater you. near you. That's fantastic. I yeah. love it. I love it. You know what? You should come out here more often. I think so. I mean, listen, I'm not. You know, this is my first time. I'm just saying. Well, it's I not your we, first tour. You're, well, no, you're, it's you're, the first time. It's the first time in the in the studio. I'm just yeah. saying. We've got chemistry. I don't know what goes on with Jeff. I'm not well, saying you know, nothing, but we got. Well, I think I think when you reply, what was it, how did you re, how did you reply to my fifth email? Because once again, it took me four emails to beg for Listen. your presence here, which is well, fine because you are an important person. Junk mail. But what what was your reply? What was your answer? Well, my are, reply was I'd be willing to be your your Andy Richter to your Conan O'Brien. 
And you know what? And we, I think we're nailing it. I think we I think are. We are. I think Jeff may be, you know, at a, at a meeting, playing this on, you know, live stream and mm -hmm. getting nervous. Because his I contract, Queasy, do we have the, uh, do we have his contract on file? Yeah, we have the membership. It's got to be. I'm sure it's coming up. Sean, what do you think? What do you think? At some point. Four months. Oh, Four he's, months. he's giving him two months, two month warning. All right. I'm Jeff. just saying. So we got to give him up a prime. So, you know, I mean, again, I just talk about the numbers and, and the youth. I mean. To me, having worked with the uh, Blackstone Valley Education Foundation, having coached youth sports for 18 years in, in and around the city, uh, having four children of my own, you know, these opportunities are so critical and, and vital to building confidence, self-esteem, giving mm -hmm. them an opportunity, showing them that, you know, there, there, there are, you know, uh, again, opportunities out there um, and there are programs and people who care. Mm -hmm. uh, Workforce Central is one of those. Uh, obviously, Worcester Community Action Council is one of those. The Job One and the coalition group of people yep. who are involved with that, because yep. there, there are a lot, including the city of Worcester. Uh, I think it's uh, of a vital importance that we continue to build on that, and uh, really, you know, give give our kids uh, a bright future. You know, I mean, a lot of a lot of a lot of hard work goes into building this strong foundation, and and hopefully next year when we're sitting here again, we're talking about some, you know, maybe double the numbers. You yep. know, that'd I be great. I think kind of the key to it in the, the piece that um, sometimes doesn't get left out, but maybe not explored as much as is kind of the employer involvement yeah. in getting and reaching out to employers. So we were very, very fortunate. We have a number of resources to do that. But I think one that was really special and really helpful um, is having the chamber mm -hmm. uh, and Tim Murray and his people mm -hmm. as, as a part of that, reaching out to the employers who are already present, who right. are already Members of the chamber will already be attending chamber sponsored events, events. Right. and then that's a great opportunity to put out oh, there. Oh, it's a captured audience. We're doing for youth. We'd love for you to get a, be a part of it. Well, you know what? I think uh, if everybody comes to the table, there's there's ample opportunity to yeah, make no all of these success success stories. So, mm -hmm. uh, again, kudos to Lila for coming in and the work that they do there. It's a great organization, mm -hmm. and uh, you know what? I think. Uh, we're coming upon our first break. Queasy, is that not correct? That is correct. And with that being said, we'll be right back, guys. Thank you. We Hi. are fine. How are you doing back there? I'm doing all right. Trying to manage a lot today and making sure we stay on task and uh, have democracy now ready for 1 o'clock. Well, you know what? You, you've you done a fantastic job. Just to let uh, you know the audience know, Queasy came to us just, you know what, a little longer than two months. How long have you been with us? Um, Since November 23rd. Oof! Do you remember exactly? Time flies. <laughs> like I have absolutely no idea. Is that the when day I before Thanksgiving? Is that the day yeah, before Thanksgiving? A couple of days before Thanksgiving. Two days. So he showed up and then took a couple of days off to go eat turkey. Exactly. Nice. Perfect timing, perfectly, huh? perfectly, perfectly planned there, I my friend. I think I started on a Monday and I had to work the whole week. So then he came out to the radio show because we lost, uh, you know, Sean McGauley went on yeah. to uh, Bigger and Better Things. Yep. I don't know if it's Bigger or Better Things. He just changed. He yep. went to a new job. Went fantastic. He's doing well, but he's working with us. But he trained Queasy, and yep. Queasy jumped in one day. I mean, I, I think he's a former DJ. <laughs> Might be. I think you ever hear this song that used to start like scratching, scratching. What is it? Dun, dun, you see, dun, the dun, look dun, that dun. you have is the same look I had. Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Uh, and you guys, well, Chris is a little younger, but he yeah, you like that. A lot younger. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, I mean, if you've listened to the show, Ethan, which I hope you do, because um, your boss is a co-host of it, and it's, uh, it's actually it's part of my performance. Jeff evaluation. usually talks about his breakdancing days. <laughs> Jeff, have you heard his about break his breakdancing days? days? I, I'm I. I haven't heard, but I think every story would end with him in the hospital if he really was. Oh, absolutely, in. that's that's I'm what that guessing. goes without question. But uh, you, you know, I don't know. If you, you know, I know you're not from Worcester, but uh, Jeff grew up on the west side, uh, okay. Tacknick Square area. Oh, that's rough. And he that's attended, rough uh, to, I mean, and geez. he attended St. Peter Marian Catholic High School. That if that isn't the <laughs> home. Of break uh, dancing, I, I just don't know what what is in the city of Worcester. So, uh, is so you know what is funny. Because he's always collecting cardboard. You go in his office, he shoots <laughs> stacks of cardboard. Head spins? And doing head yeah, maybe now I know. Now I know now, now you know. He's you know, he's he closes the door, I got a conference call, the next thing you know, <laughs> legs are kicking and he's doing the robot. So nice. uh, what do we got coming up, Queasy? We got do we got the Ross Roundup coming up? We have the Ross Roundup coming up and three two. We have a little technical issues, but uh, the Ross Roundup report is from our program manager, Lauren Ross, and she will be giving us updates on uh, what's happen currently happening around the city of Worcester as far as our local events, um, job openings, and um, things to do with your kids for the summer. We'll be here with the working words. And we have now it's time Roundup for report. the Ross Roundup with your host, Lauren Ross. Yeehaw! 
everyone. This is Lauren Ross here bringing you the Ross Roundup, where I give you a quick rundown of cool and exciting things happening in the city of Worcester. So let's get started. The first thing I want to mention, which many of you may already be aware of, is the Out to Lunch series on the Worcester Common Oval every Thursday from 11 to 2. You guys get to get down to the Oval, check out the different tables, grab a bite to eat, listen to some live music. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Uncommon Job Fair um, coming up on September 9th from 11 to 2.30, which is a great opportunity to come down to the Oval, grab a bite to eat. We usually have hot dogs. Um, meet some employers, bring some resumes, and kind of uh, do some networking for the day. So that's a great event. So that's really all I have for now on my end for the Ross Roundup, but I look forward to talking with you guys again soon. And we're yeah. back. And we're back. with. And, you know, Lauren does such a fantastic job of letting us know what's going on. She you know, she's, she's like the TMZ of the working okay. lunch. I, I would want to shout out and say Lauren, feel better. She was a little bit under the weather today. Oh, she's, she was. She's not feeling well? She was under the weather today. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. So, well, feel hopefully better, she, Lauren. Obviously, she's drinking water and hydrating. Hopefully. And, uh, and Lauren, Lauren, is, so Lauren is our program manager for the CM Whip. She's been there a little bit longer than Queasy, and she does an awesome job. So, Queasy started on November 23rd, if you recall. Yeah. At, <laughs> eight, at 8.30, 8.30 a.m. So uh, and wind Lauren gust, was a little bit for like five miles an hour. Quizzy, where are you from? Um, I was originally born in New Jersey. I grew up. All in right, stop there. That's enough. <laughs> Jersey, <laughs> we Jersey. We hired you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> local jobs for local people. What happened to that? <laughs> uh, nah, just kidding, kid. It's a pleasure to have you working with us. Um, hopefully, you'll figure out these technical difficulties uh, before the show is over. But speaking of the show, yeah. downtown with Ethan Brown. Has it, has it been a while? Has it been a while since you've done your segment? It's it's been a while. Um, work has been pretty busy. Yeah. Um, and but kind of with that youth theme, I did ha was able to do a segment on the Worcester Youth Center. Oh. Which was really really cool. You know, as a matter of fact, I've done some work with some folks over yeah. there. Uh, Sam Martin is executive. Yeah, he's director. the new executive he's director. Awesome. How long has he been there now? He's been there a while. I'm not exactly sure, three, but I know he's, he's been there quite three years. A while. About maybe Probably about three years. Yeah. Because I know that um, Hilda Ramirez was the executive okay. director there before that. Then, yeah, probably because when I met Sam, he was, you know, he was relatively... Right, amazing. but you have ongoing conversations with him. I mean, just recently you sat with him. I know that we, we were did, talking. Yeah. And uh, I thought that was a pretty, you know, when we recapped the meeting at another meeting that we had, uh, you, you, you brought so much to the table and feedback from that. So tell us a little bit about that uh, meeting. Um, so, as part of a downtown Ethan Brown, uh, yep. downtown Ethan Brown segment, we uh, I sat with Sam, talked a little bit about the work that they do at the youth center, and um, it was really exciting that the place they had just done some painting, and um, it was really exciting to be there. Uh, got a little tour. It was actually interesting enough. Uh, my first time actually, I've been to the youth center, but I think we were there for in a meeting, so I didn't get it toward the complete place. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. But it's really really nice. There was actually one room that they were remodeling. Go and kind of turn into a photography slash art studio, which I thought was really, really cool. Right. Um, Sam's got a lot of things going on over there for the kids. I know they redid did some work on the basketball courts that were just outside there. Right outside, up right. A little bit. Um, probably the coolest thing, in, in addition to what Sam does and what they do at the youth center, is they actually have a studio over there. They do some music over there. You know what? It's funny you should say that because, uh, as we always segue, there's always something that we branch mm -hmm. off of. But uh, I was actually a member of the... Um, the Latin Festival Committee that uh, Centro does, mm -hmm. um, and that's where actually where we had talent um, auditions. Really? Yes. At the so, youth center. So local talent. So some of the uh, at the festival, there's a lot of um, musicians and bands and singers and dancers who perform throughout the mm -hmm. day at mm -hmm. the at the uh, festival, and that's literally where we had the auditions. They got that's a great, awesome. so, great little sound system. Oh yeah, they system. do. Yeah. Uh, DJ Booth. Yep. You know, sk -sk 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 scratching. I was going to get in there and lay some stuff down. <laughs> Quisha was there. I was going to lay some stuff. Uh, like, we'll do that. Well, well I think Quisha and I will probably do something a bit later on. The downtown uh, Ethan Brown mixtape. Something, yeah. We'll do, you know. So somehow I got excluded. Crates, somehow I got excluded out of this fun little event. Well, you, I'm you, still right here, guys. Uh, guys, you may want to lie to me and tell me, yeah, we're going to do this together. Yeah, we're going to do this together. Fantastic. I look we forward value, to it. We value your opinion and your So back to the youth center. Talent. And they're located on Chandler Street. They are. Right across uh, what I call Foley Stadium, but yep. it, it's Commerce Bank it's Stadium. Commerce Bank Field. 
which is next to, and here's one for you, deep downtown with Ethan mm-hmm. Brown. Uh, to Antonio's over. Pizza by the I'm Slice. Pizza's to good. Over there, buddy. I'm already oh, wait, on it. Wait a minute. Peanut Gallery. I'm sorry, what? The pizza's really good. I'm telling you guys. Oh, oh, it is good. Look yeah. at this. We got a review. I'll and they have a drive through. I'm trying to get over there. I'm, wait a minute. A drive through at a pizza shop? A drive through. So you can call ahead and come at through and pick shop? up your pizza. Let me tell you something. That's going to get you where you need to be. I go to it a few times after my little brother's baseball game. So yeah. he plays in the Ted Williams League. And so right after the games, we go and get a bite of pizza. Couple like, of, um, couple of weeks ago, some time ago, Lorna, we got some lunch there and the pizza was really, really good. But I am. I'm trying to get D-Web over there. Yeah, actually, I think you should. But, you know, when you should go there after we go back to the with the Youth Center. So what other programs do they work? Are they doing job uh, job development there, too? They do. They do quite a bit of job development there, similar to what we do at the Career Center. Right. Obviously, it's geared towards youth. We do have a connection with them. We do have um, one of, probably one of the things that, you know, working with them that we could probably improve a little bit more. We're doing a great job uh, but getting more youth into the career center, yeah, um, and having that relationship with Sam and his people can can go far into helping with that. But they do they do a lot of career development. Um, I know that they have a CNA, excuse me, a uh, culinary program that they're running right now um, that's been very very successful. Mm-hmm. They've gotten a lot mm-hmm. of kids for. Um, so they're doing really great stuff. So it's not just about, you know, kids going there and having a good time. And it's a place for them to be after school. In so it's not just it's not just a rec center. No, it's not just more so much more than a rec center. That's fantastic. Yeah. So they, they must work with uh, GED programs. They do work with GED programs. They work with the Worcester Police Department. Yeah. Um, as I said before, they work with us here at the Career Center. So um and they're they're a part of the uh, job one initiative that we're looking at. They're, they're a part oh, they're of a partner with that because, as well because they're a youth as they should a youth be. service provider. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great stuff, and I know that um, you know as, as part of the workforce investment board and your your uh, involvement mm-hmm. with that, that uh, hopefully again we can continue to build on, you know, what is already a strong a working relationship yeah. and build on that. I think getting these youth providers on the same page, uh, giving them all access to much needed resources, not just funding, uh, but professional development, for an example. Um, I think it's huge. I think it goes a long way in kind of the development. And then just, as I said before, strengthening the relationship with those youth service providers um, and and getting more and more of those young adults into the career center. Are we doing, are we doing, uh, are we involved with the Worcester Public Schools? We do. Yep. Yep. Um, Our direct involvement, we actually have, uh, it's called Connecting Activities. It's a program that we have. I see that as a leading question because I've already talked about Connecting Activities. I I I brought it together. Thank and you for picking up in. what I. Thank you for picking up what I was putting down. <laughs> um, so yeah, connecting activities is actually sponsored by Desi, the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, and uh, essentially it's geared towards the relationship between education and employment. Uh, excuse me, uh, career development for young adults. Mm-hmm. Um, we're starting up our 2017 uh, kind of program. Things are looking great. We're doing some really exciting things for our vendors or our partners. Excuse me, we have Worcester Public Schools. Mm-hmm.